Get it together, girl. <sighs> Hey, it's Matt, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to see you guys. Happy Sunday or whatever day you are having to watch this video. I'm spiraling. <laughs> you can't tell from the intro, girl. I'm spiraling. Uh, and it's that sort of spiraling, it's that sort of panic, it's that sort of anxiety that can only be induced by a complex sewing project that is way out of my skill set that I have no business doing, but it looks so pretty and I want it. I should not be doing this. Like this is way too difficult for my brain and for my skill level. But you know what? I have a plan. I've got some fabric. I printed out the pattern. We're gonna be able to do it and it's gonna be fine. Can you tell me it's gonna be fine? <laughs> Cause I don't know if it's gonna be fine, but I'm gonna believe it's gonna be fine. What am I making? Well, it all started with this. I instantly fell in love. The side bustled, the shape of the top. It, it looks like it's just constructed exquisitely. I've been hunting for a pattern. I have a pretty good idea how this is constructed. Could I figure it out on my own? Probably. Am I gonna trust myself to do that? No. And I came across this stunning, stunning pattern. This is the Cosette dress by Alice Patterns, A-L-L-I-S, Alice Patterns. My goodness, is this not beautiful? It looks so modern, but also vintage-y. Like it also looks like it, I could have worn this in the Regency era. It is not historically correct, but I could see this like in a movie, but it also feels like super casual somehow, but also really, I, it is my favorite combination of factors. This Cosette dress pattern is so beautiful. I already have, all of my pieces cut out and marked. Everything is like ready to go and ready for us to use. Hold on, look at this. It's huge. This is the bustle. I'm kind of like super terrified. It's a lot of dress and a lot of technique, but I think we can totally do it. And by I think we can totally do it is we're gonna do it. And we're gonna give it our all and we're gonna make it through. Aside from the fact that this pattern and this dress is like way out of my skill set, I'm also gonna do like the craziest thing and make it out of a bed sheet. And not any bed sheet. This is a twin. Oh, I just thought about this. I don't have enough to make it out of here because I need two of those T pieces and I thought I was cutting on the fold because I have to cut them on the, I have to cut it on the fold so it opens up, but I need two of those. Hmm, first hurdle. I don't have enough fabric. Just enough with just one of those T pieces. I definitely don't have enough fabric to do two and the bustles. Hmm. <laughs> Let me go check my fabric stash and see what I have. Try to come up with something. Okay, I think I've come up with a solution, but don't, don't call me crazy. <laughs> this is not enough. This twin is not enough. It's just not enough. There's. You're not enough for me, baby. But what I do have enough of is this Ikea duvet cover. <laughs> I've had this duvet cover, oh, I don't know, at least eight years, probably closer to 10. I think we bought this duvet cover when Jordan and I first started living together. It is a queen duvet cover, twice the amount of fabric as a queen size sheet. It is that beautiful green color that I love. It's got this like really pretty, stripe in it. I, I do enjoy the stripe and I can cut this up. I've been keeping it just in case, but I don't feel bad cutting this up because we switched to the Swedish method where you have two twin duvets instead of one queen duvet between the two of you. Maybe this is what I've been holding on to it for. Is this the Soman God saying, make this Cosette dress striped? Do I make it striped? Do I do green stripes? Yes. Which way do the stripes go? They go up and down. We do vertical stripes. Yeah, vertical stripes. Okay, we're pivoting. We're pivoting, folks, we are pivoting. <sighs> I'm so proud of myself. This is the first hurdle we have successfully maneuvered. I can do this. We can do this. We can totally do this. All I can do is take this step by step and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna start with step one and step one is cutting out all my pieces. The Cosette dress the straps are actually these really long ties you can see in the image. Um, they're these really long ties, they flow behind you, and I love them, but they are not practical. I, I can see myself getting them stuck on things. They look really pretty, but I just don't see myself picking this dress up, bring it out with straps like that. You want a belly rub? 
Okay. This is why mommy can never get anything done on time. So as I cut out the top, I'm using measurements from the Bridgerton bodice that we made, the strap measurements for that. I'm using that measurement to cut out the straps so that I know that they're the right length. And we can kind of play with that when we go to fit them as well and make sure I have the right size in the straps. All right, I have all of my pieces cut out, which means it is time to move on to sewing. I'm gonna start with my darts. There are darts going in the both the lining and the like outer fabric of the front of the bodice. I'm still practicing my darts. I'm not super confident in them yet, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna keep it like super basic. And I'm gonna carefully stitch the dart starting from the wide end and then sew all the way to the marked point. And then to give them a more polished look, I am gonna press them and dart. make sure they lay flat and nice and nice, That's both on the inside and the outside. The first dart is in. Is anyone else Canadian? Is there any other Canadian girls here that when they hear the word dart in their sewing, they go dart, pass me a dart. It, it, do you know what that is if you aren't Canadian, what a dart is? Because that's what I say. I don't smoke anymore, but Teenage Madison did dabble. And uh, yeah, got a spare dart there, partner. You got a dart there, bud. I was not always like this. I used to be, I, I say I used to be fun. I say I used to be fun. <laughs> I'm fun now, but it's a different kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now that my darts are in, I'm actually gonna skip, hold off on pressing them for a second. I like to bring out my iron as few times as possible, so I don't like to go back and forth. I only have this station. I fellow small craft room girls, my, I don't even have craft room, I'm in the middle of my living room. But if you're limited in space, I try to like do all my ironing at once whenever I can instead of going back and forth so I don't have to reset up and unset up. So before we move to the ironing board for the darts, I'm gonna start putting together my side and back pieces. Because I'm lining everything, I'm gonna do that trick where I zigzag everything at the end. I went over this in my Bridgerton video a little bit where instead of like finishing all the edges with a zigzag stitch, ironing them, sewing them together, and then being done, I, when lining something, will put everything together and before putting the front and back together, zigzag stitch all the seams on the inside of the lining. It's just easier that way. It's less fuss. <laughs> you, it's just more, um, it's just you're, you're doing less, you're doing the same amount of steps is a more streamlined workflow for me. So I'm gonna do that here. So I'm skipping finishing the edges if that's what you were wondering what was happening. So this is the back piece with the strap and then the little side panels are like these little, they're almost rectangles, but they have a little bit of an angle to them. This straight side is what is going on to the straight side. All right, so I have, these are my front darted pieces. I have my lining pieces together. Ooh. So now it is time to do the back center seam. So I'm gonna put my right sides together and give these a sew, lining up my little notches along the way. I could have used pins here, but I didn't really feel like I needed it. So short and this fabric is not super slippy. So I've been pretty grateful to not have to use. We're gonna need pins later though, for sure, 100%. All right, now that I have my front and my back, I'm going to sew them together on the left seam. Um, I don't really think it matters, just depends on like the side you want your zipper. And I'm gonna do the left. I still have not broken out my iron because I'm gonna do this seam, then break out my iron. <laughs> I know I'm gonna want this dart down, so I'm gonna sew it that way. All right, I've taken out my top, wearing my little sports top, my sports bra top. Cute. It's, I love these two colors together. They're so pretty. But I'm in this so that we can try and just see what the fit of this is going to be like. I like to do it now with the lining so that I know exactly what to do with the front bodice. And I like to do this in a sports bra for two reasons. Uh, you can see where it's going on and see how the fit goes. And I can tuck my straps because the straps I always leave long. I've learned, I learned that lesson. You leave your straps longer than you think you're gonna need them. And then when you go to do your straps, 
you do a final fitting. Oh, okay, this is way too big for me. How does the front look? The front looks good. Quite a lot. Look at all this overlap. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I measured too. This is why doing a fitting is always kind of necessary. Let me see how much I have to take out. This is like tricky, tricky. Okay, that's closer, but there's more. I can take it in. Yes, okay, I got it. I'm pretty much having to half this back panel. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it back there, but I'm pretty much having it. I'll show you guys what I mean. So this panel here is the center of the back. The back and the front are attached right here on the left seam, and this is the center two panels. I really needed it to be in half for it to fit me correctly. It's, I, I, I don't know if I did measure right or if it's just this pattern, or sometimes women's sizing is really off and going from US to Canada, sometimes it's weird. So I originally made the size four top. I feel like I could probably could have gotten away with the size two. I feel like I'm a four, so <laughs> that's what I did. And when I measured the measurements were right, but it's okay, it's okay, we're moving on. So I pinned it here and you can see that that's where it makes that seam. So all I'm gonna do is put in a straight stitch right here and then cut this off. And it will be as if it was always supposed to be that way on the inside. <laughs> I'm stressing out. Uh, this is now the second hurdle. Okay. We're getting there though. We're getting there. I'm going to get the front bodice piece into the same stage as we are with the lining before I break out the iron. I just keep putting off the iron. Do you guys do that? Do you guys procrastinate ironing? I like it once I'm doing it, but getting me to do it is really difficult. <laughs> it's going okay and I'm panicking. The amount of tea I've drank probably isn't helping. everything now and we're getting everything nice and nice i have essentially like my lining and my bodice together the bodice and then the lining and press everything get it nice and nice they all live here within this romance i get Madison here. Um, a bunch of my footage is corrupt. Was it the government? I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. It's rough. I don't know. But I don't want to leave you guys without a video because a lot of this footage is still good. So up to this point, you're good. I'm good. It's like everything next. But thankfully, Everything we're doing next, we've we've kind of covered before. It's all the finishing stuff. So I do have a little bit of footage left. Um, it's it's spotty, but I do have a few clips that I'm gonna put in. You'll start seeing now of me putting in one of the bustles. Um, I'm doing the gathering stitches on the panel for the bustle. And I've been calling it a bustle. I don't really know if it is one, but that's what I've been referring to it as, as like the gathered panel in the center of the skirt. I'm putting in two gathering stitches, really cranking down the tension and the width on my sewing machine, pulling those until they are roughly the size of the space I need them to cover, and pinning them and adjusting them to the right size, and then sewing that on with a straight stitch, and then I go back over that edge with a zigzag to seal everything in. And then after that, I flip it, and I sew right sides together so that I get all of the seams locked in, kind of in that rectangular U shape almost, and that creates the side panel and closes the gap from the T from the front center and the back center fabric. And then after that, all I did was attach 
the bodice and the skirt and insert the zipper. And we've done that before. If you wanna see more in depth on the bodice part, I lost some footage there too. If you wanna see a more in depth of making the style of bodice, I made um, a top a couple weeks ago that is very similar. And essentially it's the same thing, except instead of finishing the bottom edge, I'm just attaching it to a dress. And the zipper install, I lost the footage of that as well, but that means I am going to answer the prayers of a couple of you in the comments. I will be making my Invisible Zipper 101 video for next week. This just like nail and coffined it for me. I'll do like a super in-depth video for you guys a la um, the French seam video that I did so that we can like talk about it and really like go into it and make it make sense for us. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I, oh, and then I hemmed it. I threw a nice little hem on it. Nothing crazy. I think I did like a half inch rolled hem. I did nothing crazy and you didn't really miss much in the footage other than me being hilarious because I'm always funny. But yeah, I'm a little bummed, honestly. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm a little bummed. This is the first time I've ever lost footage and I hope it never happens again, but I, I do know that that is like, it's bound to happen at some point. So I hope this video is enough. I hope you guys are satisfied with it. Um, don't click off yet because I do have the reveal footage for you. I went and I reshot it. I went and I reshot the reveal footage so that you guys could have that. I'm gonna let that roll now so that you guys can enjoy it. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free I'm a sweet baby All right, outro is gone too. So editing Madison is what you get this time. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm sorry for the lost footage. It is what it is, but I'm trying to make it work over here. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Please look forward to the zipper video next week. You guys are my favorites. If you liked this video, please give it a like. If you liked me, please consider subscribing. I make DIY content currently. I have a sewing hyperfixation, so we're going with that, but I also do uh, renter friendly makeovers and then I also do like thrift flip DIY projects here on this channel So if there's any if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing And I have not missed a Sunday since I started uploading and this was not going to be the first one So, you know, you're gonna get a video every week from your girl. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me I will see you next week. Goodbye. Oh, um you're not gonna get a cat of the week this week. Everyone is sleeping and I don't wanna ruin their day, but I am gonna show you a video right here. This is a cat that uh, I came across <laughs> from, this is actually from the lost footage. This was, t Jordan took this, these videos on my phone. Um, we actually had a bunch of footage of me finding this cat and this cat running over to me and us falling in love and our whole love story was captured, but we met him at the park. His name was Lenny. Lenny, he was so sweet and so cute. Um, he looked really well cared for but we hung out with him for a little bit at the park so he he was he i made a new best friend and uh i i love i love meeting a cat out in the wild <laughs> okay i'll see you guys next week